after starting our business, from time to time we should deal with jobs, arranging jobs, changing jobs, that is called job redesign. Job redesign. Right. So then let us stay with one job. One job. What is a job? A job is of course an organizational unit of work. Or simply we can say it's a unit of organizational work. Job is one unit of the major organizational work that is to be done to achieve the goals of that organization. So if you take then uh, one job, that job consists of three elements basically. Three elements. Three elements. So what are the three elements? This is the okay, tasks, duties and responsibilities. Tasks, duties and responsibilities. So we have tasks, we have duties and we have responsibilities. So therefore, a job can be defined. Job can be defined as a unit of organizational work which is composed of tasks, duties and responsibilities to achieve a certain organizational goal or to achieve organizational goals or to achieve a certain goal. Same. To achieve a certain goal. Single endeavor, Rakya Jan, Samudahane Paramat, O Paramat, O Nishita Aramana, Tugiri Musada, Hataitu, Rajakari, Savagati, Bolim Saman Vita, Samudahane, Vedder, Ek, Samudahane, Vedder, Ek. Well, let us now let us try to understand what tasks are, what duties are, what responsibilities, and what are the differences among these three elements. Among these three elements. Okay, if you take the task, the task, uh, task is a series of series of Motions. Tasks is a series of motions. You can challenge Rasi So, in fact, muscular motions. Tasks is a series of muscular motions. It's a small work segment. It's a small work segment. But duty, duty is a larger work segment. Duty is a larger work activity. But tasks is a smaller work activity smaller work activity. Tax has a set of certain motions. A duty has a set of tasks. Therefore, a duty is composed of certain tasks. The task is composed of certain motions. Certain motions. Therefore, tax is a smaller work segment. Duty is a larger work segment. Now let us take one example. Take my job, university teaching. In general, my job is university teaching. So if you take university teacher, so then one duty is what? One duty is to deliver lectures in the classroom. To deliver lectures in the classroom. To deliver lectures in the class. Uh, that is a duty. So if you take that duty, the duty has certain tasks. So what are the tasks? What are the tasks involving that duty of delivering lectures in the class? Delivering lectures in the class. So what you are division is what gives smaller work thing, smaller activity. So then delivering work lectures can be accumulated when they all come up again fast. So in fact there are sub duties. So in fact there are sub duties. So what are the sub duties under the duty of delivering lectures in the class?
Right. Talking is one part. Talk. Now I'm talking. Well, this. So talking is one uh, task. Riding on the white board is another task. Asking questions from the students is another task. Answering questions asked by the student is another task. Controlling the classroom is another task. Especially a class like this, a large class. So the, uh, these are tasks. So therefore, uh, that task, you know, the teaching duty, delivery lectures, that duty has in uh, class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, so like that. But then, okay, one task I told you under the duty of delivery lectures is writing on the white book. White book, do you leave uh, If you take that task, so what are the motions relevant to that task of writing on the white book? What are the motions involving that task? So what is that task? Writing on the white board. Writing on the white board. Okay, these are the motions. So assume pen is A. Going towards pen is one motion. Touching the pen is another motion. Grabbing and carrying the uh, pen towards the white board is another motion. Keeping the pen on the white board is another motion. The writing is another motion. Then stop writing is another motion. Now these are the motions involved in the duty of white board. Then closing again the pen. Pen cup and then maybe carrying it, holding it, or keeping it on the table. Now these are the motions. These are the motions. Take another job. Another job. Human resource manager. Another job, human resource manager. One beauty of human resource manager is to interview job applicants. Interview job applicants. And that is one duty. If you take that duty of interviewing job applicants, so what are the tasks involved? Checking certificates. Asking questions relevant to the job, relevant to the environment, relevant to what? So asking questions. Then examining answers given by the candidate for the questions asked. Then giving marks for the candidate. These are parts of the duty of interviewing job applicants. Observing also is a task under interview. Observing the behavior, manners of the candidate. So likewise, you should take any job. If you take any job, job of engineer, job of chief engineer, job of accountant, any job, that job is composed of tasks and duties. Plus responsibility. So what do you mean by responsibilities? Responsibilities. Tasks, duties, both the not activities to be done. Tasks, duties, basically, though there are two things, tasks, duties, but both the not activities to be possible. So therefore, practically, some companies do not differentiate between tasks and duties. They simply call duty, or they simply call tax, or they simply call tax and duties, then they list one, two, three, four like that. But theoretically, of course, we have to understand that there are tasks, also there are duties. So tasks are smaller work segments, duties are larger work segments. And then what are responsibilities? Responsibilities. Okay, responsibilities. Responsibilities are the obligations to perform tasks and duties in the expected way. In the expected way. Apeksha Thakare, Parula the Rajakari Sarkatetu, Itukiri Mutilibanda, Bandi Vratam, Bandi Namai Vagaki, Tawagaki, 
Bendi buat bangki. Bendi bangki. Sorry. So, so the responsibility is an obligation. Responsibility is a feeling. Responsibility is a requirement. Okay, I am paid by the government. So then, I have been assigned certain duties. Now I am responsible for performing those duties successfully towards the government. Because the government pays the salary to me. Because the government is my employer. My employer. So therefore I am responsible. So then I am responsible. So then, it's a requirement. Because I am paid, responsibility is a requirement. Also it is a feeling of obligation. It's a feeling of obligation. Right. So I think, uh, so very points, you know, we can uh, go. I think this is enough. What is? Regarding what the job means and also what job analysis means. So therefore, the sorry, the, not job analysis here, job design, job design. Sorry, not the job analysis. Job analysis we will talk next week. This is job design. So then, what do you mean by job design? Job design is a systematic process of arranging tasks, duties and responsibilities into jobs so that organization will go slightly. So it's a systematic process. It's a continuous process because we have to deal with tasks, duties and responsibilities until we have the business, until we do the business, until the organization exists. Due to changes in future, we have to change some duty. Maybe we have to divide one job into two jobs. Maybe we have to combine two jobs uh, and make one job. Make one job. Due to, you know, automation, due to various other changes. So therefore, it's a continuous process. It's a constant process. Of course, it is a systematic process. So then on the job decide, we have to think of the contents of the job. We have to think of the surroundings of the job. We have to think of methods that we have to use, tools that we have to use. The one of the job that we have to tools in. The way we have to use the pan, the tools. The pan, the tools, the phone, the tools, the computer, uh, they can be considered as methods which we need to do that job. So therefore we have to identify job methods, job tools, also the relationship of my job with other jobs. The university is not independent, we are independent. 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 A job we give a high risk loan and a job we give a grant value. So there are many jobs which are highly interrelated, not interdependent. So therefore we should know the relationship of one job with other jobs. All these things come under job design. Come under job design. Okay, now what is next? What is the importance of job design? What is the importance of job design? Importance of job design. Blocks of the organization. 
that sentence is enough to understand the importance of job design. So then if you have wrong uh, job designing, wrong jobs we will have, then ultimately we will not be able to achieve organizational efficiency, organizational productivity, organizational effectiveness. So look at this picture. Look at this picture. Include many duties 
onto the job or into the job under scientific technique. We develop a job so that that job has only a small number of duties, not a large number of duties. Maybe three duties, maybe two duties. So then we So certain view of a small number of duties, maybe three duties or four duties, so we get and then make one job. So that job doesn't have so many duties, no. Only few duties. Few duties. It's a take an organization that produces motor cars. That produces motor cars. One job is Headlight in stock. You know, headlight, headlight of the motor car. You know. So then take the headlight in stock. So if you take the headlight in stock, so basically that job has only three duties. Three duties. Duty one. Pick up the bulb. How many, the, you know, automation is there? Well, system, all these things are there. So the employee is just standing like this and picks the bar. And there is one view. Then plug the bar. Plug the bar into the receptacle. That's another view. Then fix the bar. Fix the bar. Finish. So this job has only three duties. Picking up the bulb, then plugging the bulb into the receptacle, and then fixing the bulb. So as you to pick the bulb, it takes the time now. So I'm going to tell now, the time it takes 30 seconds. Upper the end. Then to plug the bulb into the receptacle, 30 seconds. Another 30 seconds. Then to fix the bulb, it takes one minute. One minute. Then all together, two minutes. So this job has two minutes. So we call this two minutes the time. We call it job cycle. Job cycle. How another new concept under this topic? Job cycle. Rakya chakra. So what do you mean by job cycle? That's the time required to perform. All the duties of the job for one time. That's the time required to perform all the duties of the job once. Once. In this example, it is only two minutes. It's only two minutes. After two minutes, a new job cycle will be. That means the employee has to pick up the second part. Then after two minutes, third bus. Then after two minutes, fourth bus. Likewise it goes. So then this job has a very short job cycle. And now take my job. What is the job cycle of my job? At least it is five months. It is five months. Can think of how five months is now? Again, you begin the cycle a little master fire. How about the master fire? How about the duties, main duties? Teaching. For teaching, as you take three months or two months and half. Three months, that's it. Three months. Then preparation of the question paper. Conducting the examination. Then doing the paper marking, scrutinizing answer script, then giving marks, then releasing the results. I assume for all this it takes normally five months. Then after five months, we will have a new class, new students. Maybe all the students, but the new subject. That is a 
new job site. New job site. So then you can take a university teacher's job. Job cycle is six or uh, five months now. Many, many years ago, before we started semester system, we had the annual system. Then the job cycle of a university teacher was one year, all one year. Not a job cycle is it? How is it? This is new system because we are following international standards. We are following standard, international standards, but according to British, British system, we have an annual system. We should have, but mainly we are following the American system. That's why we have a semester system. Because I am going to criticize that this is not the right time for that. So one advantage of course, one advantage of this semester system is that you will have to learn, I mean you can learn many subjects. Instead of say 27 subjects, now you can learn 40 subjects or 38 subjects for your degree. Therefore we assume that you will have a lot, a large amount of knowledge. Also many skills. But one disadvantage is, I'm not going to talk about it. Right, so then the, uh, another piece of scientific technique is this. We design jobs so that they become specialized. Uh, one day is specialized jobs. Specialized Specialized jobs. So we create jobs which are specialized, which are not generalized under scientific technique. So therefore we create specialized jobs under scientific technique. A specialized job, you know, has few duties relevant to a certain part of total production process. Right. Now we learn the next question. Why do we need to have a scientific technique for job design? In other words, what are the advantages of a scientific technique? What are the advantages of scientific technique? The answer for why is because of advantage. The scientific technique gives several advantages which are missing from other techniques of job design. Now you have to understand. Earlier you learned, I mean, earlier you studied. But here, now you are studying with understand. That's the difference between the level student and the all level student. Of course, we have to learn more, more, many things compared with the level student. You have to learn with understanding. You have to learn with applicability. Apply it on the whole of it. Apply it on the whole of it. Anyway, so, so I am not teaching anything on the human resource management which you cannot apply. This is applied human resource management. I am not teaching you about various philosophies, many things, no. So the right. Now what are the advantages of scientific method? What are the advantages of scientific method? Uh, here, look at this one. Look at this exhibit. Exhibit 3, 4. Presents advantages of specialization. So in fact, it presents 10 advantages. And the hidden advantages in the Ramayana mean, scientific technique is like that. That's all the argument, you have no time, I can understand. But please refer to not. If you are in trouble, please meet me in person and I will help you. 
If you cannot find this knot, then I get you a copy of this knot. Depending on my availability. Right. Uh, so the advantages of specialization. The pain at low end I have pain. Please understand that you know all these things I can't deal with at this time. So therefore, that is the that for my teaching that is a special chapter. Please refer to that. Our time is one hour and thirty minutes. So I have to finish all topic within this limited time. Speed of doing the work increases. Now I will get that. But I will not know where I can. Well, I will not know where I can get that. The mega goal is going to be because of specialization, use of machines, tools, and equipment is facilitated. It could have matched. Can you describe this and can you explain this by a simple example? Through a simple example. By using a simple example, can you describe this and why? Can you explain how it happened? I am pretty sure that you can't. Sometimes master students can't. This is how we advance into Karbarangala, we have to make a mini bomb again, make a Mr. Agra, make a system in Aka, I can explain that. Mr. Agra, I can make a deal with the Aka. Explain that right, I can make a mini bomb again. Is that what I'm going to do? I want to talk about the use of machines, tools and equipment is facilitated. Lacey, Lacey, let us take an easy example. Producing a garment. Let us take one example producing a garment. Now this is one situation. This is another situation. Two situations. Situation one. Situation one. Right. Basically, what are the uh, duties that we have to perform to produce a gun? First uh, thing, measuring. Then cutting. Then cutting. Then showing. Then finishing. So I assume there are only three duties or three main parts that we have to do in producing a garment. To do measuring, I assume we use one person. To do, to do uh, cutting, we use another person. Then sawing, another person. Then finishing, another person. Then this is the same thing. Uh, measuring, cutting, uh, shopping, finishing down. Here also same people. So we have four people. But in this situation, in this situation, one person does all the measuring, cutting, shopping, finishing. Measuring, cutting, shopping, finishing. Measuring, cutting, chopping, finish. Measuring, cutting, chopping, finish. Right. In this situation, to design the job of this person, we use scientific method. In this situation, we did not. That's why one person has to do all the work. Here, we use the scientific technique, therefore, one person has to do only one duty, one main thing. Of course, this has certain, certain things, but measuring, basically measuring. This person does only measure. This person does only cutting. So therefore, this person's job is specialized. Only measuring. Only measuring. 
Right. Now my question is, how many, how many pairs of C cells do we need in this situation and in this situation? <coughs> so I assume one pair is enough to do cutting. So one pair is enough to do cutting. यार कपूरों कपूरों किया कौन है जोड़ के जोड़ अभी कपूर आके लगे कपूर किया कौन तो बारे यार स्टार्ट है ये भी नहीं वास्तव में इसको किया कौन ये भी नहीं only one pair this person does cut it या आपको this person needs the pair but here how many pairs four pairs because everybody does cut that's a good example, you know. Use of machine screws and equipment is facilitated or even advised under scientific method or under scientific technique. Even if you take your machine, so let us take this or show me here. Only this person does show me. Only this person needs the machine. Show me machine. Other people do not need. But if you take the second situation, all the four people do need one machine. Then all together four machines. That's why one machine is enough to produce the car. So likewise, you know, likewise we can describe and in the, in the, uh, explain each and what. But here, here no time to understand. Then. Uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, scientific technique has disadvantage. Otherwise, you know, we, we would have finished job design techniques by learning only this technique, but we can't. This technique has disadvantage, not only advantage. Because of disadvantages, we will have to use other techniques, which I will talk later. Right, what are the disadvantages? They are the beginner and disadvantage. So one thing, one at a time. One at a time, we can learn. One at a time. One at a time is another disadvantage. Neither so far. So likewise, there are, this is fatigue. Not understanding the whole work of the organization. Not understanding the whole work of the organization. So likewise, you know, so they, uh, don't worry, you know, that, you know, I mean, I can't write the whole list, so we have no time, I can't let it. By the way, a few things, I mean, two or three things you can write down at this moment. And later, you know, you can go up and do your service back. Then you will learn, really. Right, there is monotomy. What is monotomy? Monotomy can you write? Monotomy can you write? उन्नर उत्तीय निशा क्या नहीं आवत नहीं आवत किरीय बनिशा अतिवर मानसिक उपास दस मेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स दस दस मेंटल इंटरविजियंस इन द वे बिकॉज़ ऑफ रिपीटेशन यू डू सेम थिंग अगेन 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 आते में यू हैव अ साइकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम अदर इस कॉल्ड मॉडर्न कॉम्प्लेक्स द व्हाट इस बॉर्डर Jamaatkan hari ini saya jual makan di pasar ini ramai. Boat. Nampak ada apa di mana ni sah? Hari ini makan di pasar ini ramai. Mana sah? Ada apa lagi? Pasti ada orang bodoh. Mana dia orang ni? We have jobs. But who are job holders? Who are job holders? Human beings. So we cannot forget that. Job holders are human beings. Finish. The main point is that finish. We cannot forget that. We are human beings. 
जब 